Please all stand. You are all beautiful, Mary, and the original stain is not in you. You are the glory of Jerusalem. Glory of Jerusalem. You, are, you the are the joy of Israel. Israel. You, give you give honor to our people. people. You, are you are the advocate of sinners. O Mary, Virgin most prudent, Mother most merciful, pray for us, intercede for us with the Lord Jesus Christ. O God, who by the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin prepared a worthy dwelling for your Son, grant, we pray, that as you preserve her from every stain by virtue of the death of your Son, which you foresaw, so through her intercession, we too may be cleansed and admitted to your presence through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please, Please kneel. kneel. All, O most pure Virgin Mary, conceived Conceive without, without sin, sin. From, from the, the very, very first, first instant, instant you, were you were entirely immaculate. O glorious Mary, full of grace, you are, you are the, the mother, mother of God, the, the Queen of angels and of men. I humbly venerate you as the chosen mother of my Savior, Jesus Christ. The Prince, the Prince of Peace and the Lord of Lords chose you for the singular grace and honor of being his beloved mother. By the power of his cross, he preserved you from all sin. Therefore, by his power and love, I have hope and hold confidence in your prayers for my holiness and salvation. I pray that your prayers will bring me to imitate your holiness and submission to Jesus and the divine will. Queen of heaven, I beg you to beg my Savior to grant me this request. My holy, my holy mother, mother I, know I know that you were obedient to the will of God. Will of God. In, In making this petition, I know, I know that God's will is more perfect than mine. Than mine. So, so grant that, that I may receive God's grace, grace with humility as you did. As, as my, my final request, request I, ask I ask that you that pray, you pray for, me for me to increase in faith in our risen Lord. I ask that you pray for me to increase in hope in our risen Lord. I ask that you pray for me to increase in love for the risen Jesus. Amen. Day 7 My son, do not forget my teaching. Take to heart my commands. For many, many days, days and, and years, years of life and peace will they bring you. Do not, not let love and fidelity, and fidelity forsake you. Bind them around your neck. Write, write them on the, the tablet, tablet of your heart. heart. Then, then will you win favor and esteem before God and human, and human beings. beings. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. heart. On your, on your own, own intelligence, intelligence, do not, do not rely. rely. In, In all, all your ways, ways be mindful, mindful of, him, of him, and he will and make straight, straight your paths. paths. Prayer, seventh day prayer. Most, Most holy, holy virgin, virgin, to you, to you I, I submit, submit myself. myself 
for protection because of cares arising from the evils of the world. Help me and cast upon me your merciful eyes so that I may overcome all the hardships of body, heart, and soul. Grant that I may be worthy of the grace I seek to obtain in this novena. O oh, my mother, allow me not to stray from the path of virtue. Keep me always a holy child of a holy mother. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Litany of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ hear us. Christ hear us. Christ graciously hear us. Christ graciously hear us. God the Father of heaven. Have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world. Have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit. Have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God. Have mercy on us. Holy Mary. Pray for us. Holy Mother of God. Pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins. Pray for us. Mother of Christ. Pray for us. Mother of the Church. Pray for us. Mother of mercy. Pray for us. Mother of divine grace. Pray for us. Mother of hope. Pray for us. Mother most pure. Pray for us. Mother most chaste. Pray for us. Mother inviolate. Pray for us. Mother undefiled. Pray for us. Mother most amiable. Pray for us. Mother most admirable. Pray for us. Mother of good counsel. Pray for us. Mother of our Creator. Pray for us. Mother of our Savior. Pray for us. Virgin most prudent. Pray Virgin. for us. Virgin most venerable. Pray for us. Virgin, Virgin most, most renowned, renowned, pray for us. Virgin most powerful, pray for us. Virgin most merciful, pray for us. Virgin most faithful, pray for us. Mirror of justice, pray for us. Seat of wisdom, pray for us. Cause of our joy, pray for us. Spiritual vessel, pray for us. Vessel of honor, pray for us. Singular vessel of devotion, pray for us. Mystical rose, pray for us. Power of David, pray for us. Tower of ivory, pray for us. House of gold, pray for us. Ark of the covenant, pray for us. Gate of heaven, pray for us. Morning star, pray for us. Health of the sick, pray for us. Refuge of sinners, pray for us. Solace of migrants, pray for us. Comforter of the afflicted, pray for us. Help of Christians, pray for us. Queen of angels, pray for us. Queen of patriarchs. Pray for us. Queen of prophets. Pray for us. Queen of apostles. Pray for us. Queen of martyrs. Pray for us. Queen of confessors. Pray for us. Queen of virgins. Pray for us. Queen of all saints. Pray for us. Queen conceived without original sin. Pray for us. Queen assumed into heaven. Pray for us. Queen of the most holy rosary. Pray for us. Queen of families. Pray for us. Queen of peace. Pray for us. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God who take away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God who take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. The Memorare. Remember, Remember O most, most gracious Virgin Mary, Mary that, that never was it known that, that anyone who fled to your protection, protection implored, implored your help or sought your intercession, was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto you, O Virgin of virgins. My mother, to you do I come, before you I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in your mercy hear and answer me. Amen. Pope Francis' prayer to Mary, Immaculate. Virgin, Virgin most holy and, and immaculate, to you, the honor of our people and our loving, loving protector, do we turn with loving trust. You are all beautiful, O Mary, 
in you there is no sin. Awaken in all of us a renewed desire for holiness. May the splendor of truth shine forth in our words. The song of charity resound in our works. Purity and chastity abide in our hearts and bodies. And the full beauty of the gospel be evident in our lives. You are all beautiful, O Mary. In you, the Word of God became flesh. Help us always to do heed the Lord's, the Lord's voice. voice. May we May never be, be indifferent, indifferent to the cry, to the of, the cry poor, of the poor or untouched by the sufferings of the sick and those, and those in need. need. May, May we, we be sensitive, sensitive to the loneliness, to the loneliness of, the of the elderly and, and the, the vulnerability of children and, and always love and cherish the life of every human being. being. You are, you are all beautiful, O Mary. Mary. In, In you is the fullness of joy, joy born, born of life with, with God. Help us never to forget the meaning of our earthly journey. May the kindly light of faith illumine our days. The comforting power of hope direct our steps. The contagious warmth of love steer our hearts. And may, and may our, our gaze be fixed on God, God, in whom, in whom true joy, joy is found. You are all beautiful, O Mary. Hear our prayer. Graciously hear our plea. May the beauty of God's merciful love in Jesus abide in our hearts. And may this divine beauty save us, our city and the entire world. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear friends, we continue to ask the help of the Blessed Virgin Mary. May her Immaculate Conception continue to assure us, inspire us, that even with our unworthiness, with our sinfulness, God continues to call us to serve Him. God continues to entrust us with the mission to fulfill 
His plan. We now humbly acknowledge our sins and ask the Lord to grant us pardon and peace. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers God. and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Stir up your power, we pray, O Lord, and come, that with you to protect us, we may find rescue from the pressing dangers of our sins, and with you to set us free, we may be found worthy of salvation, who live and reign with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord God, But a very little while, and Lebanon shall be changed into an orchard, and the orchard be regarded as a forest. On that day, the deaf shall hear the words of a book, and out of gloom and darkness, the eyes of the blind shall see. The lowly will ever find joy in the Lord, and the poor rejoice in the Holy One of Israel. For the tyrant will be no more, and the arrogant will have gone. All who are alert to do evil will be cut off. Those whose mere word condemns a man who ensnare his defender at a gate and leave the just man with an empty claim. Therefore, thus says the Lord, the God of the house of Jacob, who redeemed Abraham, now Jacob shall have nothing to be ashamed of, nor shall his face grow pale. When his children see the work of my hands in his meads, they shall keep my name holy. They shall reverence the Holy One of Jacob and be in awe of the good of Israel. Those who err in spirit shall acquire understanding, and those who find fault shall receive instruction. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom sh should I be afraid? The Lord is my light and my salvation. One thing I ask of the Lord, this I seek to dwell in the house of the Lord 
all the days of my life, that I may gaze on the loveliness of the Lord and contemplate his temple. The Lord is my life and my salvation. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord. In the land of the living, wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Please stand. Behold, our Lord shall come with power. He will enlighten the eyes of his servants. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus passed by, Two blind men followed him, crying out, Son of David, have pity on us. When he entered the house, the blind men approached him, and Jesus said to them, Do you believe that I can do this? Yes, Lord, they said to him. Then he touched their eyes and said, Let it be done for you according to your faith. And their eyes were opened. Jesus warned them sternly, See that no one knows about this. But they went out and spread word of him through all that land. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang tanghali po sa inyong lahat. Katangi-tangi ang ating pagdiriwang ng Immaculate Conception ngayong taong ito sapagkat tayo rin po ay naghahanda para sa Jubilee Year ng 2025. And Pope Francis has invited us to be pilgrims of hope as we celebrate this great Jubilee Year. Pinapaalala po sa atin that Mary is a sign of certain hope and comfort to the church as we journey together here on earth. Si Maria ang tanda ng pag-asa at kaginhawahan sa ating paglalakbay sa lupang ibabaw. This hope and comfort of the Blessed Mother is specially experienced in her closeness to us Napakalapit daw po ng mahal na birhen sa atin, the most affectionate of mothers who never abandons her children. Naalala ko po yung minsang sinabi ni Pope Francis, 
para paalala sa atin kung gaano kalapit ang mahal na birhen. Kaya daw po siya nagpapakita o kaya daw po siya patuloy na nag-iimbita ng pamimintuho sa Kanya. So that when we tell our stories, we also tell the story of Mary in our own. Halimbawa na lamang, pag binanggit natin ang lugar na Antipolo, anong unang naiisip natin? Ang unang naiisip natin yung international shrine na nasa Antipolo. Walang magbabanggit ng Antipolo na hindi pwedeng banggitin si Mama Mary. Walang magkukwento ng tungkol sa Antipolo nang hindi magkukwento ng tungkol kay Mama Mary. This is the closeness of the Blessed Mother to all of us. We can never tell our story without mentioning the Blessed Mother. She is our hope. She is our guide. She is our mother. Pero siguro po kailangan nating magsabi ng ilang pagpapaliwanag tungkol sa pag-asa. We have to say something about hope. We must realize that hope helps us to believe that something good will happen. Hope helps us to believe that everything will be well, that the good overcomes evil. But we have to understand that hope does not take away challenges and trials. Hope does not take away destruction and chaos. It does not take away suffering and sacrifice. It does not take away loss and pain. It does not take away uncertainty. So siguro tatanungin niyo ako, eh, anong dulot ng pag-asa? What does hope brings? My dear friends, hope gives us the confidence to embrace all these things, to embrace challenges, to embrace chaos, to embrace suffering, loss and pain, and even uncertainty. Hope gives us the courage to embrace all these things in a way that we are able to open doors allow God to surprise us and create a room for action. Kahit nahihirapan tayo, kahit sinusubok tayo, kahit akala natin wala nang pupuntahan, ayaw na natin, ang pag-asa, binibigyan tayo ng lakas upang makapagbukas ng pinto may daan pa pala, may landas pa pala, at hayaan natin na kumilos ang Diyos kahit sa paraang hindi natin nauunawaan at magkaroon ng pagkakataon na kumilos. Ano ba ang isang tanda na wala ng pag-asa? May mga tao maririnig natin sinasabi, ah, Ganito na talaga ako, wala na akong magagawa. Ganito na talaga ako, hindi na ako magbabago, wala na kayong magagawa sa akin. O kaya naman, sasabihin natin, ay, ang taong yan, ganyan na talaga yan, wala na tayong magagawa dyan. O kaya sasabihin, ang Pilipinas, ganito na talaga, wala na tayong magagawa. One sign of losing hope is when we say, we can do, we cannot do anything anymore. But my dear friends, hope brings us the confidence to embrace even the hardest 
trial in our lives so that we can open doors, allow God to surprise us, and make a room for action. Ang may pag-asa, laging may magagawa. Mary faced the uncertainty of the Annunciation. Mary faced the strenuous trouble of traveling from Nazareth to Bethlehem to Egypt and back to Nazareth. Mary faced the anxiety of having no room in Bethlehem, having to give birth in animal quarters, dress her child in swaddling clothes, and having to lay him in a manger. Mary faced the tragic sorrow of standing at the foot of the cross of her beloved son. But in all this, Mary did not give up. Hindi sinabi ni Mama Mary, ayawa na, mahirap na, ayoko na, give up na. No. Mary carried on. Mary kept on believing, waiting, and hoping for the fulfillment of God's promise of mercy, presence, and victory. Merong pang landas na tatahakin at merong pang magagawa. Kung para sa atin, pintuan ang maaring buksan ng Diyos, narinig natin sa Ebanghelyo, mga bulag, mata ang binuksan ng Diyos para magkaroon ng pag-asa at bagong landas. We ask the help of the Blessed Mother. Sino ba sa atin ang walang problema? Lahat naman meron. Sino ba sa atin ang hindi dumadaan sa pagsubok? Lahat naman tayo. Sino ba sa atin ang hindi humaharap sa hirap? Lahat naman tayo. Pero dalangin natin, huwag po tayong panghinaan ng loob. Huwag po tayong mawalan ng pag-asa. We ask Mary to pray for us, to guide us, to be with us, so that with confidence, with confidence, we continue to hope in the Lord in a way that we can open doors, allowing God to surprise us and create a room for action. Amen. Please stand. Together now, we offer to the Lord our prayers and petitions as we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may be a credible witness to the gospel and be a sure guide to peace and solidarity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those in government offices be men and women of principles and integrity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That like the two blind men, we may have firm confidence in Jesus and follow him on the path of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are suffering from failing eyesight or blindness may overcome their difficulties and find total healing. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our deceased relatives and friends may be granted perpetual life and eternal rest. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father in heaven, fill us with your love and dispel the darkness from our lives so that we may work in the light of Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings. And since we have no merits to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue, with protection of your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for he assumed what is first coming, the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfill the design you formed long ago and open for us the way to eternal salvation. And when he comes again in glory and majesty and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Thank you. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our many sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of Jesus be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the peace of Christ. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the King who is to come, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. Replenish by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hold firm to the things of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Good afternoon. First of all, let us acknowledge the presence of the students from Mary Hill School of Theology. Where are you? Taas ng kamay. Okay, so welcome to the Manila Cathedral. So there are uh, students. Some of them are seminarians. Hopefully, they will be free someday. Nagtuturo ka ba sa MST? Ah, okay. Well, our uh, mass presider this afternoon was also another student of mine uh, during the high school seminary days. I was very young then, newly ordained priest, and uh, he was one of my first mistakes. No? <laughs> but uh, he was very bright. No? I think he's uh, second or first in the class. Now he is the parish priest of Maria uh, de la Estrada in uh, Katipunan near Ateneo. He was also former rector of the Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception in Cubao. Though he now belongs to the Diocese of Cubao, he was also ordained here 25 years ago. And so, Father Dennis, thank you very much for presiding over this uh, uh, seventh Novena Day, and we are glad to have you here at the Manila Cathedral where you were ordained. So, palakpakan po natin si Father Dennis. And as a sign of our appreciation, please accept the replica of the image of the Immaculate Conception enshrined at the cathedral. Sayang hindi namin pwedeng ibigay sa iyo yung malaki. <laughs> Kaya... Uh. And to you who have been following us during this Novena Days and joining us in the celebration, thank you po. Dalawang araw na lang, makukompleto nyo na ang pito, ang siyam na uh, araw ng paghahanda. And uh, tomorrow, Saturday, our mass, Novena Mass will be at 7.30 in the morning. And on Sunday, it will be at 10 in the morning. So there is no 12.10 tomorrow. There's no uh, ma Mass at noon. So the Mass will be at 7.30 in the morning. Hopefully, you will also be able to come here and join us. And on Sunday, the Apostolic Nuncio, Charles Brown, Archbishop Charles Brown, will celebrate the 6 p.m. Mass, uh, after which the procession of the three images of the Medaglia Milagrosa, the Immaculate Conception that is on, the, on your left, and the uh, image of Our Lady of Lourdes will process around the Intramuros. That procession, which we do not have uh, on a regular basis, hindi naman po nagpo-procession ang cathedral, but on Sunday, there will be a special procession because this year is the 170th anniversary of the dogma of the Immaculate Conception. Ang lahat po ng images na yan, yung Lourdes, yung Medalla Milagrosa, at yung Immaculate Conception, may connection sa doktrina o dogma ng Immaculada Conception. So please, uh, join us. Join the procession also. Bring your candles and uh, let us uh, again profess our love to Mary, the Immaculately Conceived One. So again, salamat po sa inyong pagdalo at magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Please stand. I would like to express my heartfelt gratitude for the invitation to celebrate the Mass with you here. It is truly a blessing to be able to come back, sabi nga ni Monsignor Rolly, after... I was ordained here 25 years ago and uh, to be able to celebrate Mass once more and thank the Lord for the gift of the priesthood and continue to, to offer the vocation to the Blessed Virgin Mary. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the almighty and loving God bless you, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go 
in the peace of Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God. Oh, no, no.